Good day, guys. Also today, and today we're going to be messing around with our Megacade. Now, this is going to be part one. If you've seen the previous video, I give you a taster, a little taste of what's about to come. And to be honest, after the update that you mentioned within that video, um, I've managed to squeeze even more out. I mean, in this uh, setup, I'm going to be showing you how to install all your systems. So off the top of my head, we're going to be looking at PlayStation, Mega Drive, SNES, N64, um, normal Nintendo, Master System, Neo Geo, MAME, or PC Classics. Sorry, not PC Classics, um, Arcade Classics. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to get all the latest movies on there. Um, what else am I going to be doing? I'm going to be showing you how to play your PC games through your Pi anywhere in your house. I'm going to be showing you um, how to get all your music, all your TV shows, everything streamed to you and all for free. The only payout you will need is the actual hardware that goes along with purchasing your Pi 2 and all the little bits and bobs like controllers and shit like that. Which to be honest, 90% of you will, will already have somewhere around the house because let's face it, if you're going to be doing this so you know about games and you've been playing games and you're most probably going to have a controller or something <laughs> later around. There's going to be nothing that special in the setup of all this and if again if you watched the previous video I told you everything I warned you about the kind of things that you're going to be needing to get this set up so without further ado let's all get this show on the road and let's set up our mega cades <laughs> okay then some of the things that you're going to be needing for this setup and most probably all of them to be honest is uh, a Pi 2 now, I warned you about this, we're not going to get anywhere unless you've got a Pi 2. <laughs> it's, the, it's the main thing that runs it all, so without the Pi 2 you ain't going nowhere. So you're going to need the Pi 2 today, you're also going to need a SD card. An SD card, again, I warned you about this in the previous video. The SD card does need to be of a reasonable make and over. Because to be honest, uh, I can get everything running on my cheap ass ones for a few dollars off eBay. Uh, shipped in from China, they usually come with like no makes on them or whatever but to be honest they do not last, They you probably get a couple of weeks out of them tops and then they start to fail the last thing you want to do is spend all day configuring this, get it tweaked, get it all up and running the way you want it and then all of a sudden it fails all your data is gone, you start it from scratch, it's not the way you want to go also when you do buy a good make, not only is it a good make but it's also most likely going to be a class 10 class 10 is probably the best you're going to get from an SD card class 10 isn't just a classification of how good it is, basically it's the read and write speed so obviously the better it is, the faster it is, the more responsive as you know if you've had any experience with Pi, we don't normally use hard drives with these, everything runs from the SD card so in essence the SD card is the hard drive so the faster you can get that the faster everything will run in terms of loading times, responsiveness, all that good stuff. So I urge you to buy a good one. If Again, if you watched the previous video, I urged you to buy at least a 32 gigabyte um, SD card. And my um, preferred choice for SD cards is the Samsung Evo. Basically, I've never had an issue with these. I'm not saying these are the best. I'm saying that in my experience from using this and setting these up, I've never had an issue with this make and model. So, you know, <laughs> you do what you want, but I'm showing you how to do it with this one. Okay, the next thing you need is uh, the controller. So I use a wireless Xbox controller because I hate fucking wires knocking around everywhere. Also, we're going to try and hide everything within a Mega Drive enclosure or whatever enclosure you want or don't use any enclosure at all. But I like to have no wires, so basically I'm going to be using the Xbox 360 uh, official controller. However, I'm going to be using a cheap-ass Chinese ripoff, um, what's it called? Dongle. So, when if don't know if you've had any experience of using these on your PC before, some of you use the wired version of the Xbox 360 controller. I like to use the wireless version. So, when you plug it into a PC, normally you use a dongle, the official one that comes along with a controller at some point. However, because I can't move for fucking Xbox 360's controllers, I didn't want to purchase another one 
just for the dongle. So I got a cheap ass one off eBay for I think it was like three bucks or something. It took about a fucking week to get it here, if not longer, because it came all the way from China. And we all know how long things take. Yes, they're cheap. <laughs> no, the quality is not that good, but they do work in my experience. So yeah, if you want, take a chance, or you can buy the official one from the I don't know from any normal reputable store, online, Amazon, eBay, wherever. But like I said, I'm using the official controller, but I'm using a cheap ass dongle. Okay, next thing you're gonna need is an actual Wi-Fi dongle. Now you can buy these fucking everywhere again for just a couple of bucks. Um, this is going to be a wireless setup. Now, I don't know. I I hate fucking wires, Ethernet and all that stuff. So I haven't got a clue how that fucking works, to be honest. I'm going to be setting everything up through my home network. So the Pi is going to have internet through the Wi-Fi dongle. And also, it's going to be on my network through the Wi-Fi dongle. So you're going to need, I don't know, a Pi compatible... Uh, USB. These are like two quid in the UK. Uh, you can probably get them easy and cheaper. You can get them from markets, you can get them online, eBay, Amazon, everywhere. A lot of them are recommended for Pi. I'm going to put a link in the one below for the one that I bought. I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody, but it worked for me. And to be honest, for the price, it's not that bad if it doesn't because you just buy another one and send it back, especially if you get it on Amazon or something. So, yes, a Wi Fi dongle. You're going to need a HDMI lead, obviously, to link it to the TV. You're going to need some kind of power to your Pi. I'm sure you are fucking experienced enough to know that your Pi needs power. I use a Samsung charger that I got from a HTC phone, but you know. You can buy these online, specific ones just made for the Pi, so they say. But at the end of the day, I think it's just a mini USB lead plugged into a um, USB power point plug socket, whatever you call it. Um, I'm sure you all know what I'm going on about. And also, you are going to need a SD card reader writer. Because to be honest... Um, you're not going to need this apart from the actual initial uh, setup. So if you've got a friend, if you haven't got one and you've got a friend who's got one, just borrow theirs or something. I don't know. Basically, again, they cost like two, three bucks or something online. Uh, you can go to any you know market store or online shop, any reputable place. They all sell them. Basically, on my laptop, I've got an SD card reader writer built into it, so I'm lucky. Um, you guys may also have them and get lucky, but if not, again, like I said, you can buy the USB version online anywhere and they will just be as good. Quality doesn't have to be that good, obviously, as long as you work and are compatible with your PC. So that is the bare bones of everything that you will need in order to get this up and running today. Um, so once you've got all that together, let's actually get stuck in there and get this set up. So all you need to do is follow the actual videos. On there I'll show you everything that you need to do. I'll also give you everything that you need. There is no need for you to go onto any websites or forums or anywhere like that. Every download and every bit of software that you need I will provide for you and I will show you exactly where it goes. So all you need to do is jump on to the link on the screen now. That will take you to the next video and we'll take it from there. Cheers guys. Laters.